Okay, so between your legs, about halfway down, there's a bar. Just lift it up and pull forward. All the way up. So that my feet rest yep. on the rudder? Yeah, you can do some fun. <gasps> really? Yeah, you can do a little bit. Oh, there that's you go. so cool. So you know how the seat belts work? Let me see. Uh, yeah, and then just tighten up the lap belt, snug it tight. Mm -hmm. And you want to lean forward a little bit, so just lean forward. That's good. I wouldn't tighten it up anymore. Can I tighten it up a bit? I'm kind of scared. Yeah, you can. A bit? Yeah, there you, you go. There you go. Wow, it's so cool. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a show Savannah, I'm coming home. Oh, Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. Just begun We will always take a step For the people, for the land Let's go back to when we were young For the animals we stand Let's go back to when trees were swung Savannah, I'm coming home. 
Flight Center. It was a scenic tour of Saskatoon and I sat in the front seat of the Cessna and Carrie sat in the back seat and I actually got an opportunity to take control of the aircraft several times during the flight. It was really incredible and it was a lot scarier than I thought to actually take control of the airplane because as you for example just hold the stick straight the yoke of the aircraft it begins to slowly roll and yaw into a circle and so you have to be kind of like correcting it a lot uh it probably becomes more natural as you get used to flying to just like um steady your um steady your attitude so that you're flying in a straight line but as a beginner i was like whoa <laughs> i was gonna ask him like can you take the controls like this thing is gonna fly out of fly out of control but it was really amazing we got to see our tiny house from the sky yeah and i was really i was really worried because he was getting me to like fly it and stuff and i was like i can't look at the ground i have no idea where we are it was just like <laughs> total sensory overload i've flown airplanes and simulators and so I, and there i'm used to it because you're just like controlling it at a computer and you get used to it and you can see where you're flying and stuff but in an actual airplane it took me much more effort than i thought to actually control my attitude because of the gusting wind uh, and yeah, so I wasn't windy. I was not able to pay attention to anything else uh, like airspeed and altitude and stuff it was really but the guy said I was doing pretty good actually especially as I got used to it after about a couple minutes yeah and then I could actually uh, just uh, like autonomously control my hands and stuff <laughs> as I'm able to look at my airspeed and altitude and correct for that so it was pretty fun the closer we got to the airplane and the closer we were to like actually flying in it the more i was getting like butterflies in my stomach and he's like closing the like door and stuff around us and it looks like an rv door it's like really thin and the window opens and there's like a little latch to open it so like you're like five thousand feet in the air it looks like you could just open the door accidentally and fall out and i wanted to put my seatbelt really tight but he's like no don't put it that tight he's like i want it tight i'm gonna fall out <laughs> 
yeah uh, i'm so i'm so i'm so scared but yeah once you and you hear all these airplanes like rrr, 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 around and then you put like the headset on which is noise canceling it's like rrr. yeah and all just right, so quiet so quiet and instantly. you just hear each other talking yeah it was really 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 fun um I would highly recommend it, especially if you're interested in aerospace, to just try going up in a small airplane. Yeah. It's very different than being in a commercial airliner. It was really fun. It wasn't that long of wait while we were waiting. We just check out all the, the nearby other museum. uh nearby museums and all the other airplanes on the site. Yeah. So uh we waited for like twenty minutes and then we go on right away. The flights itself was like about half an hour. And uh, how much does it cost? One hundred and fifty dollars or something. Which you're allowed up to three people. Yeah, maybe fifty dollars per person. That's not that not that bad, to my view. Yeah, for a, an instructor to take you on a personal flight. And you get chance to like really actually to fly, fly it. it. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Do you think you would have been able to do it, or would have been too scary? I would be so scared. I I don't think I would be able to do it. I was so scared, like. I was telling the guy my feet were sore because on the floor of the airplane where you have the gas pedals in a car, you have your rudder controls to control the tails spinning. And I was holding my feet up the entire time because I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally punch the rudder and like turn the plane. Uh, so the guy was laughing at me. <laughs> Before we started, uh, the instructor was like asking me, have you ever uh, go on a small airplane before? I was like, no. And then he's like, um... Uh, in front of your seats, there's a little blue bag in yeah. case you throw out. It's like, what? <laughs> uh, anyway, it was really fun and it was like, it was really like a once unique. In a lifetime yeah, it is. So it's like really worth it. And yeah. uh, we got some shots of the city of Saskatoon and our tiny house. So yeah. it's really, really a special moment really for cool. us. Yeah. So afterwards, we went back to the Saskatchewan Aviation Historical Society. There's a, a little aviation museum here. They have some amazing stuff. They have a DC-3. They have what looks like an, S, an S-2 tracker, I think. It's like a piston-powered submarine tracking aircraft. They have two of them. One full airplane with its wings all folded up. Incredible to see up close. And they had a cockpit of one, which we were able to go in and, and play in. But I was asking them, do they accept volunteers? Because I thought it would just be really, really cool once I'm done the tiny house mm -hmm. to um, to volunteer and work on some old airplanes. I love airplanes so much. And though I've had to get into old cars because old airplanes are not accessible, this seems like a great way. And they're saying like, oh, well, we can't pay you anything. It's like, what are you talking about? I would pay you, I would pay them to be able to play <laughs> with the old airplanes and take apart their motors yeah. and stuff. So it just sounds like such a cool opportunity to to play around with old aircraft and learn lots of new things. Airplanes are really complicated. Mm -hmm. So we'll update you guys on whether I actually get to volunteer. But we got to finish the tiny house first. Of yes. Fairness. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We have we'll leave you with some more clips of mm -hmm. us playing around the museum and the what's the name of the air of the flight school again? Mitchinson. Mitchinson Flight School. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. See you in the next video. See you. Oh my god, is this safe? <laughs> Feel that safe? Oh my god, we can go in the cockpit of this one too. Holy f How do they allow us to do this? Uh, I'm a little bit scared. Wow. I wonder if this thing was in the war. Oh my god, there's no holes on the seat. Wow, ashtray. Whoa, this looks scary. You go. Okay, you shot. hold. You hold this. Oh my god, this is so high above the ground. I'm scared. Oh my god. <laughs> my feet can barely stand because it's on a slope. This one doesn't have a yoke, so I'm gonna sit here. This is where the co-pilot sit. Oh my god. It's tight. You have to stay fit. You want fit. a history lesson on the DC-3? Yeah, no. My seat needs to be adjusted forward a little bit. I probably shouldn't touch those because this is actually connected to everything. Okay, don't touch it then. This is not connected to anything. I'm not controlling the. Captain, are we ready? You ready? Yeah. What? V1.
rotate. <laughs> oh. Wow. Power down. Cruise at 3000. <laughs> Are we landed? Yeah. 